Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to continue our National Hurricane Preparedness Week and discuss how to develop a hurricane evacuation plan. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So hurricanes are some of the most destructive storms that can be produced by planet Earth with high winds, tornadoes, inland flooding, rip currents, and storm surges. And when public officials say to evacuate, you should follow the evacuation orders. It's to protect your own life because power can go out during a hurricane. Emergency services like the police and the fire department won't be available either because they, they don't want to risk their lives to save someone else's life who didn't evacuate. So take evacuation orders seriously when, or when they are issued. Now for the rest of the part of this video, we're going to go over the steps needed and know how to create your own hurricane evacuation plan. Now the first step in creating a plan is knowing your evacuation zone and routes to take. So it's important to know the local area's emergency and management agency and through the National Hurricane Center, you know where your evacuation zones are. And if you look at this map here, you can see where everything floods along the east coast of the United States and the Gulf of Mexico from storm surge from hurricanes. And here's a zoomed in look of some of those specific areas like in Louisiana, Florida, New York, the Carolinas. And then you want to know what zone you're in uh, so you can determine when it's time to evacuate. Each zone is designated on the intensity of a storm, on how, when that storm surge would come in, based on how strong that's, the storm is. Then the second step is determine when to evacuate. You don't want to evacuate be too soon, but also not too late, because you don't want to get stuck in traffic. You want to avoid the traffic, but you don't want to go so late that you get inundated by the storm surge as it's coming in or as the hurricane uh, intensity increases. The next part of your plan is to actually plan your evacuation route. Last thing you want to do is not know which roads to take and also if you're in low-lying areas that could potentially flood so now your evacuation route that you were going to go is blocked and you have to backtrack and potentially put your life at risk your family at risk as well you also want to prepare an evacuation kit and we'll have a separate video on what to exactly include in this but the basic items are food water for your family flashlights clothes that you're going to need a weather radio and batteries and depending on how long you're going to be staying somewhere. You also want to determine your destination. There's many different things you could do while you're evacuating. You can evacuate to a hurricane shelter. You can evacuate to someone else's home, which is further inland, a family, a friend, a relative. Or if you have the money, you can evacuate to a hotel. The biggest thing you want to do is just stay informed on when a hurricane evacuation order is issued. Your best knowledge you can have is have a weather NOAA radio to know when hurricane warnings watches are put into effect, which is when hurricane evacuation orders will start to go into effect as well. And you can also track all this on your smartphone as well. Now, don't forget your pets. When you're evacuating, you have to make sure you have a place to go with your pets as well. And don't and not evacuate just because you have pets. You, there are shelters that allow pets. There's hotels that will allow pets. If you can't go to either of those, a family member can take you in. You don't want to stay behind because you have pets and endanger your lives and their lives. So bring them with you. Make them part of your evacuation plan. So in summary, when you're developing your evacuation plan, you want to find out if you live in an evacuation zone and what zone that is so you know when to leave. Have your to-go to -go supplies ready to go. Plan what route you're going to take so you can avoid low-lying areas if possible so you can avoid any flooding. Follow the evacuation order when it's given and plan for your pets, most importantly. I know everybody loves their pets. 
make sure that they come with you when you're evacuating and don't stay because you have pets if you are in evacuation zone it can be very life-threatening as we've seen with past hurricanes like Ian last year you don't want to be there when that hurricane comes through now in tomorrow's video we'll go over what's going to be needed in that emergency hurricane prep kit so you know exactly what to bring when you need to evacuate as a reminder we have super thanks available on deciphering weather so if you'd like to donate to the channel please to go down to the heart button where it says thanks thank you for watching this video if you liked it please hit the like button and leave a comment please share this video with your family and friends on social media and if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos thank you and have a great day